Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to show you how I transform these two beautiful pieces of furniture into something that would match the rest of my decor to fit the farmhouse style. So if you're interested to see how I transform these, please make sure to stick around. Before starting this piece, I went ahead and I took that little stool and I placed it on top of three uh, paint cans just to bring, uh, bring it a bit high and then I had this grey uh, paint can that I had at home. So I'm going to use that for this project. The exact color, I'm not uh, really sure of it uh, just because I got this uh, from the hardware store in their liquidation um, section and usually when they have paints that are not mixed properly or the, they miss the color that they were looking for those paint can goes into liquidation so that's where I got mine but I love the coverage and how uh, it goes on to this uh, piece of furniture so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm going to make sure to paint the legs and the top and all of this piece of furniture in the same color. I gave this piece of furniture two coats of, uh, of paint and this is how it looks like once everything is painted and waiting to be dried. Once it's dry, I'm going to do uh, some more details on this so stick around to see what I'm going to do next. After the paint has completely dried, I took some painter's tape and I wanted to uh, do I wanted to paint some stripes of paint. So I'm just gonna uh, stick these uh, painter's tape. I'm just eyeballing. I'm not measuring anything, and then just leaving a small gap. I'm gonna put uh, strips of painter's tape so that I'm gonna paint um, the areas or the little strips that uh, does not have painter's tape on on top. If you hear some loud noises in the background, that's because we're getting our roof redone and the work is going on outside. So I'm so sorry if you hear some banging noises uh, that could be loud at some point. So here I'm just taking uh, this um, sage color paint that I also had at home in my stash of paint. And using a foam brush, I'm just painting the areas where the tape is not showing or the tape is not um, covering. And then this will give me a light... Um, strip effect and I didn't want it to be very visible that's why the color that you see almost matches the the color of the rest of the piece um, but it, this is a sage color and the rest of the piece is a light gray so I'm going to do that let everything dry and then for the fun part I'll be peeling out the uh, painter's tape because this is such a small piece of furniture, I wanted to do something more with it. So I went ahead and I printed this um, B uh, picture. It was a printable that I found on Pinterest. I'll leave a link in the description below if I, found, if I can find it. And then just using this uh, strainer that I had at home just to get um, a circle. I'm placing it on top and just uh, tracing the shape. And then I'm going to cut that down and then I'm going to... Uh, mud podge that to the top of my table. So this is how it looks like once I've uh, cut the shape that I wanted and then I have this spray bottle filled with water. I'm just gonna give it a good coat of uh, water on top and then I'm gonna apply some Mod Podge and I'll be sticking that print on top. I know you can print it in reverse and then Mod Podge and leave it 24 hours and peel the paper off. I know that's another way to transfer uh, prints onto a piece of furniture but my printer is not a jet ink it's just regular ink a printer so that's why I'm doing it this way and I'm gonna see how the end result look. This is the first time I'm at attempting this uh, type of project so you'll see at the same time as I'm, uh, I'm experiencing this if it's gonna work and how the end result would look like. So once everything was dry and the Mod Podge had the time to dry, I just took some uh, sandpaper that I have here and I'm uh, distressing this piece, especially on the details uh, around the feet of this table. I think it would look that cute little um, farmhouse vibe with the distressed look. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this piece. 
After I have distressed this piece, I took the sage color that I used to paint in the strips and then I'm just dry brushing. So you want to take a piece of paper and just uh, dab away as much as the paint as you can just to have a dry brush. And then I'm just going to brush over uh, just to take away the harsh edges of the print that I had glued on. And I think this gives it a nice a rustic look. So that's what I went ahead for this project. And this is how it looks like um, once the dry brushing was done. And this is how everything looks like once it was dry and completed. I'm in love with this project. I think it looks really nice and it gives that rustic farmhouse look that I was hoping to achieve. And I'm actually very happy with the Mod Podge um, print that I did. Uh, just sticking the paper right on. I think it turned out super beautiful and it's not peeling away. If you are joining the DIY residence for the first time, then welcome. I upload new videos every week and I share the many DIY projects that I do in hopes to inspire others to do crafts. So if this is something that interests you, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss on any of my future projects. Now moving on to the next project with this, which is this writing desk that I got uh, on Facebook Marketplace. I'm just using the same gray color that I used for the little table and I'm painting using the same brush. And here um, the only parts that, uh, the part that I don't want uh, to have paint on is the rim that you see um, just under the first and the bottom, of the top and the bottom of this piece. You're going to see later on because I'll be putting some painter's tape around so that I don't get paint on that portion of this um, uh, desk but I'll be applying two to three coats just to make sure I get full coverage. This is such an easy way to transform a furniture that you find um, if you can grab uh, onto some furnitures for cheap and you want them to match your home decor this is such an easy way if you have patience to paint uh, a lot can be done so here I'm just um, taping the area that I don't want to have paint on and I've removed the little hardware that, uh, that was um, on this piece as well. And then I'm going to paint everything and I'll be removing the painter's tape after and just putting back the hardware. So you'll have to excuse me for the, the lighting of this video. I have a big window right next to where I'm working. So sometimes it's sunny and suddenly it changes. So I'm dealing with some... Um, uh, color or some light effect on this video so I'm so sorry about that and once um, I'll be done with the paint I'm just going to remove the painters tape and then at the end I always apply a top coat of, um, uh, po uh, of poly just to make sure that everything is uh, secure and is good to go so this is after painting all two and a half coats of paint and now I'm just removing uh, the painter's tape and I'm going to show you how everything looks like once it's all done. I love replacing back uh, knobs because you know that your job is completed. So here I just kept the knobs inside so that I don't lose them and I'm just going to replace them. Uh, I didn't have to refinish these knobs just because they were perfect and still in really good shape and I wanted to keep the color um, intact. So here I'm just gonna replace them and I'll show you how everything looks like. So here is the final project, you guys. I think it looks super cute. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite and I can't wait to stage these and to keep them in my house. So this is how they look like. If you enjoyed this video, please help my channel by giving this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, take care.